All right, so this is a uh, little channel update. Well, uh, kind of a channel update, a little bit of everything. Uh, probably gonna rant a little bit, but this is, I'm working on a, um, pretty much a trench table, and I still have a lot to fucking do. Um, I wanna build another table and add about another 30 inches so I can add about four more tiles to what you already see. Well, you'll, you'll see later. But, um, this is like a little template I use to make the trenches. And I'll tell you, if you're designing a table from scratch, the best thing to do is draw it out on a piece of paper how, you, how you'd like it to be. And then draw it on the table if you can. Because you might draw something on a piece of paper and be like, yeah, that'll look cool there, that'll look cool there. And then... You know, whenever I design something, I don't really give a shit how, like, detailed and how great it looks. You can, the more time you spend on some crap, you, you can make it look very detailed and you can put all that detail and shit in there. But at the end of the day, if you have a bunker and it doesn't hold basically 10 models, then what is the bunker fucking doing besides being eye candy? It's not playable if you can't put stuff in it. You know, it's you have to like walk that line of is it practical to have on a table? You know, I've seen people make amazing city tables, and there's like one road down the middle, and that's like, well, that's the only road a tank can go down. You can't put tanks on top of buildings. You can't put artillery pieces on top of buildings if you're playing 40k because the rules say you can't do it because the buildings wouldn't be able to support it. So you you have to have like this practicality uh some you know realism you know if you're gonna have tank traps have some of the tank traps destroyed so tanks can get through them because what's the point and here you just see how i i cut out the the trenches you'll see more and more i'm, I'm just gonna ramble back and forth and i think things are worth talking about and i, I drew it out twice the the green lines were the the first time i i traced through with the template and at the end, I got to the end and it wasn't like even. So I ended up keeping the template and I just cut three inches from one side and then added three inches on the other side of the table. And those were the starting point points for the, the trench. And then they both uh, met in the middle. When I do a part two to this, you'll see a more, uh, I'll go over more details of what I actually did. This is just like when I was messing around, I, I took time to like, this film instead of trying to film the whole thing because it had just been ridiculous and I, I, I've been working on this for about a week so I want to get it done because I want to play on it and the, the more you film the more you have to stop and let's deal with bullshit was it the green lines I did? For? no it was the green lines I did second I take that back and I'm going super damn slow for some reason Oh, I remember I was, the noise it was making, I was recording. Uh, I'll do that later. You'll see that shit later. <laughs> so stupid. Alright, so this is after it's all been cut. Made it nice and clean. And then one thing, after you do, you cut it, take some models and you put that shit in there. Make sure it looks right. Because if you don't like it, you know, now's the time to, to, to fix it. Then going the next step at adding, like, the wood and all the... Got the other side to do. is a fucking nightmare. But this is what the, the models look like. So I got Space Marines and I'm starting an Orc Army. I'm going to call them, like, the crazy 80s. And uh, they're going to be, like, all 80s colors and, like, neon and shit. They're, they're gonna be like an eyesore. I gotta paint all those Terminators still. So much shit I gotta do. But here's the trenches. Almost finished. I still have to go in and foul down some wood. I still got like the other half. I had to go out and get more wood. And pretty much just, I got some, um, they call them like skinny sticks from Walmart. There'll be, I think, a picture of them later. And I just cut the size. 
put down planks. You can put them down in any direction you want. Um, I just put them down like, um, I think in real life they'd put them long ways down the, um, the trenches just to help for walking, but I wanted to make this look a little bit nicer. Some down views. Yeah, I gotta like sand all the tops of those. And then I'm gonna add a whole bunch of debris in the trench. Baby steps. I really enjoy how they look. It did take fucking forever to to cut everyone down and then place them one by one by one. Ooh. Here I started on the actual, just cutting out the, the bunker. I ended up later adding a couple more um, planks of styrofoam under the back two tiles and raised this up about, I think there's six, you, see, you don't see, you can't see them all, but I ended up adding like one or two more tiles under that. So it actually went up, I want to say, yeah, two. Now I'm looking at it from the, the desk. One, two, yeah. And it looks a lot higher up. Um, this looks better overall rather than so low into the ground. I didn't push the, the, the bunker piece all the way in and show you what it looks like because it's drying, but you'll see it later. Then I just started to carve out the back and the sides. And this is when I decided, like, uh, I wasn't really happy. I wanted it to be, it needed to be higher. And so I just ended up cutting another layer down, put another layer under it, and boosted it. It looks way, way better. Yeah, now you can see. And I still haven't, like, trimmed all the, the roadways from the back of the bunkers either. But it, it just, so much better. It's like the... You know, they're up high, just to give you an idea of scale and shit. But all that middle piece will be trimmed down a little bit. The blast templates, I'm actually using those just to um, do all the craters. Put craters everywhere. I think it's going to look good, though. Other pieces and all the way in because it's still drying. I still got a lot of work to do on the, the bunkers. And then I added two more tiles. And after this, when I build the extension to the table, there'll be four more total. All right, this is after I cut everything down. And then I did the, the bunkers or the uh, craters everywhere. <clears throat> yeah, I just think it looks so much better popped up. Still got fucking do do all that wood still so after I finally go back to the store and get some the scopely is for the um the sandbags and the dragon's teeth and those are the sticks that you can get out Walmart they're like I want to say $2.99 for a packet and the clay was $6.99 that's all they, that's what they look like without cutting them and I just hand cut it all that shit that shit took forever too. And then I had to buy another thing of, I was about to say fucking milk. <laughs> Elmer's glue, don't drink that shit. Um, and then, you know, still using the same ketchup bottle that you can get for like 49 cents. The Elmer's glue, I think was like 10.99 or something, real cheap. And you could water it down a little bit if you want. And I think this is when I, Finished the whole thing. I want to say. Did some craters. And I thought putting those sticks down were miserable, but the sandbags. Oh my god, the fucking sandbags. Let's take a look at those. This is when I started the first layer. I ended up going too high, like two two levels high, not like it's it was, yeah. 
There's some damage to some of them. The cool thing is they just air dry and you just go back with like Elmer's glue and I started gluing them back in into place so they'll never get moved. And I'm just going to probably paint them like brown, maybe beige and then do some like a like a brown ink or maybe a, a black wash on them. And here are the dragon's teeth. Just ice cube trays. Push them in. Some of them I didn't push all the clay in. They came out pretty, you know, a little goofy. But it looks like battle damage, so it came out fine. I ended up had, having to go buy another uh, another pack of um, Sculpty. I'll probably come out with, like, on a next video, a, um, a rough estimate of how much money I spent. I still want to say, with everything so far, it's about under a hundred dollars still it might be like in the high 90s or mid 90s because i think with all the foam even the foam you don't see it's like ten dollars a packet for six and i want to say I, want, I bought like 50 or 60 dollars worth of just foam and there's the second layer of clay or uh, sandbags. Almost done. Just a fucking nightmare to finish that shit. Here's the second layer of sandbags done. Pretty much six feet worth of sandbags done twice. All the damaged ones. And you gotta hand roll, and I, I did this all sh that shit by hand. It's real super easy. Um, just roll it out, push it down, and just cut them. And then you just pretty much just push them into shape. Make like little pillows. There's some of the dragon's teeth out there. So this is the ice cube tray with the, the clay in it. Let it dry for like overnight. So at least a good maybe 10 hours. And this is how I smoothed out all the uh, the craters. That way when you go to like texture it or um, do any kind of effects later, it'll be smooth enough that you don't have to worry, you won't get like, when you try to paint it and shit, you won't get like a lot of white spots. It just smooths it out and makes it easier to work with later. And for the uh, dragon's teeth, you just pop them out. There's the, the recent one uh, pack of foam I bought. And I'll show you what I did with the, the end caps. And I just made some barricades, little cheap barricades, so that the person who starts on that end of the table will have some kind of cover and not be completely out in the open. But uh, you'll see, like, probably much, much later when I start building the, uh, the second table for the four more tiles. But I'm going to go get some sleep. There was some uh, rioting in my neighborhood and some gunshots last night, and I didn't get much sleep because I had to stay up with the rifle. So um, be safe wherever you are, and um, hopefully part two will be coming soon. All right, bye.